These are the materials we're going to be using. We have our leaf skeletons. We have some Mod Podge. We have a glass vase. We've got some balloons. Uh, we have a foam brush, some spray oil, and some spray dye, or you could use some spray paint too. All right, let's get to making this leaf votive. First, we're going to put some saran wrap around our vase so it doesn't get all gluey. And take our balloon. You can blow this up to whatever size diameter you want your votive holder to be. Um, then, just tape it down so it's not wiggling around. And then now you're going to want to spray this with uh, some kind of spray oil, cooking oil. I'm using Crisco. And that's going to just allow our Mod Podge to separate really well from the balloon when we pop it. All right, now we're uh, ready to start putting down our leaf skeletons. And to do that, I start from the bottom of the balloon, which would be the top of your votive. Just because it's nice to have those kind of delicate uh, tips kind of floating outward. So we're going to start down here. Cover that leaf with some Mod Podge. Then you're going to want to overlap the next leaf and keep going all the way around. And then now you can start your next row. So you'll want to overlap the top of your leaf over the bottom of your first row. And then continue to work around overlapping the top of your leaf and the sides. And you'll just keep on spiraling all the way up until your whole balloon is covered with these leaf skeletons. Leaf skeletons you can uh, buy online. Sometimes they're at craft stores. Um, and you can also make your own. It's okay that it's not entirely smooth to the balloon. Just as long as some part of the leaf is attached to the leaves around it. Now we have just the cap of the, the balloon to cover. So we'll just stick a few down at the base, overlapping a lot more than we would, just so we get a nice, strong base. So my balloon is about six to seven inches in diameter, so mine is fitting about four leaves on the base. Now you can dye your leaves before. We're going to uh, use a spray dye after they're done, but uh, just because it, it saves time. But you can also use a fabric dye uh, before you get to this step. So now that's all complete and we will wait for it to dry. This one I've 
I've already pre-made and is already dry, so I will go ahead and show you how to pop this thing. You can pull it off your vase. And then right near the tip of the, where you tie your balloon, um, it's a little bit softer there. It's a good place to pop it with a pin because it'll get a nice slow leak. I don't recommend doing a quick pop because it could collapse really easily. This way, um, as it deflates, it's already pulling the sides away from your leaf votive. We can add more holes. Great, so this is what our leaf votive looks like um, out of the balloon, and now we can paint it whatever color we want. And this is what your leaf votive looks like when you've uh, spray painted it. We used an olive bright uh, floral spray, uh, but a uh, regular spray paint will work as well. And finally, you will want some sort of container to put inside your votive just because it is flammable. So you'll want to keep the flame away from sides and tips of your votive. And that is the leaf skeleton votive. <laughs>